President Rooney, Provost Grievitz, guests of honor, schools of environmental sustainability, faculty and staff, and most importantly, graduates in your families. My name is Nancy Tuckman, and I'm the founding dean of the School of Environmental Sustainability, and I welcome you to this commencement ceremony which celebrates the inaugural graduating class of this new school. While the COVID pandemic has kept us physically apart this year, you can be proud of being a very large part of the growth and development of your alma mater. We are graduating 100 students this year, students who stand shoulder to shoulder with us on environmental protection and environmental justice, students who are agents of change for a cleaner, healthier, more just and sustainable world. In this fast changing world of big complex and vexing problems like climate change, it's easy to get overwhelmed. It's easy to lose hope. But now is a time for courage, tenacity and hope. In our common work toward a just transition, we can count on three constant forces that will not fail us. First, education is a powerful instrument for social transformation. As proud degree holders, we are called to do good, do good things with our education. You have a strong foundation to be environmental leaders in whatever type of work that you choose to pursue. Call on yourselves to be instruments of change. Second, we are part of a massive worldwide environmental group of leaders and activists. As educated members, we must continue to actively engage with the environmental movement, drawing strength from it and giving our strength back in return. And finally, Loyola University Chicago, a place where we have all grown and learned together, will be here as your home base. We will continue to commit ourselves to the education of young people in environmental sustainability, and we want you to stay connected with us. Our educations, the environmental movement, and our Loyola home base are three important constants in this ever-changing world. We draw direction and courage from them. On behalf of the School of Environmental Sustainability, I congratulate you on your graduation from Loyola and welcome you into the important work of caring for our common home. Thank you. I would now like to welcome our student speaker to provide remarks. Isabel Oyos Arango is receiving her Bachelor of Arts degree in Environmental Policy and her Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Science, Food Systems and Sustainable Agriculture. Welcome, Isabel. Thank you, Dean Tuckman. I am honored to speak with you in our celebration of our graduation day through this pre-recorded video. A friend recently said to me that she didn't think she could really call herself an environmentalist. She didn't look like what she thought a real environmentalist looked like. To her, a real environmentalist wears homemade tie-dye t-shirts and sandals and always carries Tupperware in their bag in case there are any leftovers to take home. She didn't identify with this stereotype. And so she doubted if she had a place in the environmental movement at all. But the truth is, there is no one way to be an environmentalist. Let me repeat, there is no one way to be an environmentalist. Indeed, the world doesn't need everybody trying to do environmentalism, environmentalism in the exact same way. Rather, the world needs the bleeding heart protesters in the streets and the board members advocating for fossil fuel divestment and the architects designing green infrastructure and the plastic free entrepreneurs, the organic gardeners and the lawyers. The world needs the veteran homesteaders and the corporate employee who just learned about climate change and started composting at home. The world needs all of us. So let's be bad environmentalists. Let's each be environmentalists in our own unique ways. Let's try our best. Let's learn from our mistakes. Let's show up imperfectly, knowing that what really matters is to keep showing up. Let's lead by example and remember that we didn't know what we didn't know before we learned it. Let's show compassion towards ourselves and towards others, 
in order to inspire and empower those around us to also own the impact of their decisions and to use their power to create positive change. Not that long ago, I held a much more narrow vision of environmentalism than I now do. I'd never heard of intersectionality, the framework that recognizes how systems of oppression are overlapping. I certainly hadn't thought about how that could play into my work as an environmentalist. For example, in the way that environmental injustices and exploitation disproportionately affects marginalized communities and how this is related to racism. But I know now that there will be no environmental justice without racial, economic, and social justice. And that in order to be real stewards of our common home, we must first care for all of the people with whom we inhabit it. And to restore our relationship with the earth, we must first restore our relationships with each other. I also know that I have so much more to learn. As we graduate, we embark on a lifelong learning process. So as we go out into the world, let's remember to listen and to make space for others, to recognize who is in the room and who is missing, and to work across differences and build alliances for a just and sustainable world. Most importantly, let's never underestimate our own power to change the world. To my parents, thank you for your unconditional support. To all of the professors who went above and beyond to make Zoom University less grim, thank you for your effort, your empathy, and your patience. And to my classmates, friends, peers, I learned from you as much as I did from lectures and textbooks. Thank you for teaching me to consider problems and their solutions from different perspectives. And thank you for showing me that there is no one true way to be an environmentalist. Congratulations. I would now like to invite Dean Tuckman to give some final remarks. Thank you so much, Isabel, for your wonderful remarks. The class of 2021 will now be individually recognized for your achievements. Congratulations again to the class of 2021. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. I would now like to present the candidates for the degree of Master of Science, Environmental Science and Sustainability. Colette Kopic. Carter Stephen Cranberg. Angela M. Elzer. Hannah Carrick. Erin Kathleen Kilbane. Isabella Therese Laurie. Molly Mars. Anna M. Million. Zach Samaras. Jessica L. Sanders. Megan Smith. Logan Laverne St. John. I would now like to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts Environmental Policy. Rukia Abdullah. Quentin Davis Arai. Caitlin Auletta, magna cum laude. Isabel Claire Borkowski, honors, summa cum laude. Brady C. Briska. Hannah Claire Cho, cum laude. Gerardo Ernesto Platon. Bilgun Delgursican, magna cum laude. Anna K. Donaldson, summa cum laude. 
Sarah June Gonda. Natasha Lizette Gonzalez. Anna Marie Harris. Isabel Oju Arango, magna cum laude. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Food Systems, Sustainable Agriculture. Emma Elise Hudson. Natalie Rose Kalizi. Eric Dylan Liu. Honors. Abigail Erin McGrath. Jonathan Molina. Natalia Damar Moreno. Megan Catherine Mullenbeek, magna cum laude. Madison May Perdue. Francis Catherine Rafferty, honors, cum laude. Hannah Sather. Kaylin J. Smith, cum laude. Esther Sosa Alonzo. Margaret Elizabeth Walker. Catherine Ann Wasilak, honors, summa cum laude. Victoria Lane Abercrombie Wyndham. I would now like to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts Environmental Studies. George Alejandro Abreu. Mia Bella Ambrogio, magna cum laude. Colette Diane Bayless. Sine Collins. James David Downing. Celine Kirsten Ide. Emma Adeline Gamonly. Alyssa M. Gergoni, magna cum laude. Hannah Coleman. Canon Isaiah Larison. Elizabeth Irene Meyer, magna cum laude. Yvonne G. Salazar. Allison Duchovny Schultz, cum laude. Paulina Vaca Mathina. Alicia M. Freybeck, magna cum laude. Parker Harrison Wood. I would now like to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science. Elise Anhorn, magna cum laude. Yishai Campbell. Joseph M. Chappelle. George Robert Clifford. Eleanor Elizabeth Ermintrout. Catherine Grace De Jesus Flores. Anna M. Getz, cum laude. Anna Gabrielle Hunter. Morgan Kennedy Alexandris Costitas, cum laude. Kendall Lee Kupferberg. Owen Jacob Lang, magna cum laude. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Policy. 
Clara Maria Lutz, magna cum laude. Jack Marte. Lamia Memijan. Michael David Mora. Lily Esmeralda Paukushtis. Honors, cum laude. Jasmine Scott, honors, magna cum laude. John Sang. Veronica Shepanik. Aaron Nicole Taggart, cum laude. Gina Tellerico, cum laude. Natalie Elizabeth Taylor. Ruby Claire Walden, magna cum laude. Joseph Thomas Walsh. Patrick Edward Williams, magna cum laude. I would now like to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Conservation and Restoration Ecology. Angeline Vera Clutia. Michelle Claire Emerson, cum laude. Andrew D. Mullins. Sydney Francis Nice. Maggie Elizabeth O'Brien, magna cum laude. Andrew Russell Roseman, honors, magna cum laude. I would now like to present the candidate for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Environmental Health. Anada Venegas Anderson. I would now like to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Food Systems and Sustainable Agriculture. Jenna Ajaram. Maya Luce Nino. Magdalene Anna Wallace, magna cum laude. I would now like to present the candidate for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Public Health. Natalia Shklaruk, magna cum laude. I would now like to present the candidates for the Certificate in Environmental Law and Policy. Cynthia K. Boxerman. Marilee Guzman. David Dunn McCauley. Victoria Ann Raymond. Kristen L. Zimmerman. I would now like to present the candidates for the Certificate in Sustainability Assessment and Planning. Jennifer F. Boggs. Carrie Ann DeMonte. Brianna Rose Fenzel. Eva Gaia. Jordan Scott Henderson. Olivia Michelle Melson. Kazuki Ogita. I would now like to present the candidate for the Certificate in Geographic Information Systems. Alex Clark Graham. <laughs>